over here is all about mental health and breaking generational curses. Tell him, Shanna. Classy roses, please come inside. Girls and guys, y'all all invited. I y'all won't get excited. The information is enlightening. I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like it. Classy roses. Please come inside Girls and guys Y'all all invited Tonight y'all gon' get excited The information is enlightening I know you're gonna like it I know you're gonna like it My classy roses Shayna, thank you for this opportunity. It's your boy Solid Dollar signing off. Over here is all about mental health and breaking generational curses. Tell him, Shayna. Classy roses, please come inside. Girls and guys, y'all all invited. Tonight y'all gon' get excited. Information is enlightening. I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like it. Classy roses, please come inside. Girls and guys, y'all all invited. Tonight y'all gonna get excited. The information is enlightening. I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like it. I'm a classy rose. I'm a classy rose. Shayna, thank you for this opportunity. It's your boy Solid Dollar signing off. Oh my god. All about mental health Hold on, let me stop it. Tell them, Shanna. Thank you. All right, y'all. Shout out to Solid Dollar for my intro. I'm going to get the volume together. Hi, Classy Roses. I'm back. Welcome to the new subscribers. Somebody is saying it's only on subscriber mode. Is that true? It should be. Um, Cause I'm only saying moderators up in here right now. So is it only on? Hello, everybody. Oh, we finna discuss this. Hi, my Frankie. Hi, my Frankie. Hi, hey. Pink. Hey, hey y'all. Oh, y'all, let me say another one. But yes, it is on subscriber mode only, and it says for 12 weeks or longer. I'll take it off of that, please. Can you take it off of that, please? Mm-hmm. I be playing with the stuff, y'all, and I don't be knowing what the hell I'm doing. What's up, Pi? Jason, Fox, 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 Mr. Jackson, Miss Pink. Y'all, we working on the settings for y'all to get up in here and chat. I mean, we want you to subscribe, but not. You know, Lisa Love, Lisa Love, Fox Trotter, Fox Trotter. What's up, y'all? I hope y'all like the song. Shout out to Solid Dollar for our intro. Um, I'm going to get it together where I can set it up. I just wanted y'all to hear it. Let me know. <laughs> Thank you so much for our intro, Solid Dollar. Um, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it on the replay or what y'all think. I think it's awesome. It describes us, period. We talk about generate. We talk about everything over here, everything over here. Hello, Andy, Terry, keeping you countable. LS. I was wondering why people wasn't coming in. I'm like, okay, what's going on? I was only Miss Golden Signature. It was for subscribers who have been subscribed for 12 weeks or longer. Y'all, I was wondering where y'all was at. Okay. 
You still made mad at Kevin. You didn't even spell mad right, Kevin. You're not finna get in this today. What y'all wanna do with Kevin? Hey, welcome to the channel. I got a lot of new subscribers. Welcome, guys. Welcome. I wanted to do the intro again. I want to invite Lindsay on the stage real quick. I'm sorry for not inviting Lindsay. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. You got to let Dollar know about our song. I don't know if y'all heard it right. Yes, I like the song. Okay, you heard it right. I'm going to have to rehear it because it sounds a little low to me. But thank you, Dollar Dollar. Classy roses. You know it's classy. I got to get the words to it. But it was fire. Shout out to uh, Solid Dollar. I'll play it again for us again. I'll play it again for us again. Jennifer. HP, thank you for your cash app. I don't really like normally shooting out who sends me cash apps just out of respect because I've been in this YouTube world for a very long time and people try to bully your people that donates or talk crap about your people that donate. So if I heart your thing or um, your, your uh, cash app, I got it. And I'll just say thank you to everybody that donated whatever they did. Because I don't want to be calling y'all out. What's up, Stefan? You here to start some stuff tonight? What's up? What's up, Octavia? Mocha, mocha. What's up, Lady T? I haven't seen you in a minute. Welcome back over to my channel. Y'all, we got to discuss this. Okay. I ain't even going to cut to the bushes. If y'all, I mean, I ain't going to cut to the chase. Now, if you guys... um. If you've been catching up with the whole situation with Marcus and Sonny and Westy, and now there's another character involved, and you know me, I've been digging. I've been digging. People been asking me to go live. I want y'all's opinion. I am not finna be judgmental off of um what we read today or what I play today, because every time I think something different, people be like, oh, Sheena, you was wrong. So we're not bashing Westy at all. We're just going to play a response from old Shay. If you don't know who he is, he is another content creator that did two videos of Westy. And it was a lot of shit going on behind that, y'all. It was a lot of stuff going on. He was trying to get in touch with Westy through Marcus. I, I don't know if he didn't get the information. You guys don't have to fill me in on why he didn't talk to her after we watched the review. But Marcus did respond to Westy. Okay. And, of course, we got the comment, y'all. We got the comment. He didn't do it on his live, Marcus. I think you're pretty coward. I think you're a coward to be hiding away and not addressing this shit. But then again, I thought about it like this, Marcus. Are y'all playing games in front of our faces for views and likes? Is this a joke? I mean, we knew Sonny was content. So now is this Westy's way of being content because she's not making a good impression of you, Marcus. She's, you know, it don't look good on your part. And um, everybody was wondering what happened to your message under Westy's uh, live or video. And you explained that you didn't delete it. You reached out to Chase's chat to make sure you put a comment on there. Biggest day. Of course, it was you instead of them going to your platform and addressing this issue. You didn't address Sonny's allegations or you didn't address it on your platform. So what we're going to do with my subscribers and my classic roses and guests and friends, we are going to read the comment on how he responded to Westy's allegations, okay? And then we're going to move on to the next subject. I hope y'all ready, got y'all popcorn ready, your blunts ready, all that good shit, y'all, all that. Lindsay, bring up that uh, comment. Let's get started. Ah! I couldn't wait to get out of work, y'all. What's up, Dirty? He went in on Chase. No, he didn't go in on Chase. He uh, had a response. He had a response, y'all. So we're going to go ahead, travel with MJ, go to Signature. Oh, you guys, I love all y'all. 
Never heard of him before. Ooh, Lady T, I know you from the R. Kelly sector. You're going to have to look into this girl. It is a whole storyline, baby girl. You're going to have to go back in some of my old videos, Atlanta Street interviews. Um, yeah, I know. It's a whole damn sector. What's up, Batty Doc? What's up, Daddy? What's up, Cherry Love? Lexin? Nimi? Somebody's texting me saying it's only subscribers. Is it still on only subscribers? No, because y'all coming in here. LS. All right. Let's get started. Golden Glow. Oh, my bad. LOL. Okay, Golden Glow. Welcome, 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 everybody. We got 200 in the chat. If you can't see it, I'm, so, I'm going to try to put it full screen because we all been waiting on Marcus to respond, right? And Marcus, if you're in the bushes, come on out here and tell us what you tell us what you think. Since you don't want to go on your platform, because we the people want to know what the hell is going on and why is this going on. And we're going to discuss this today, you guys. We are going to discuss this. <laughs> Hi, Catherine, my love bug. All right, so let me put this shit full screen. From my understanding, he didn't delete the um, message under West Indies. West Andy decided to erase it or, or, or um, block him. So he decides to go to another channel, y'all, instead of then going all the way to his channel. I don't know why you want to address it on your channel, Marcus, and let the people see what's really going on. Let your people see what you got going on, man. They don't know the really story about you. So we're going to go ahead and read it. Go ahead and read it, Lindsay, and then we're going to go into the response about Westy. Now, I want y'all to give me your honest to God's opinion when it comes down to this situation because it sounds like a bunch of lies and maybe some truths. I'm not for sure, but I, I don't like people playing games in front of our eyes. I don't want nobody feeling, you know, making us feel like a bunch of dummies because we ain't a bunch of dummies. If y'all doing these reviews and commentary, y'all messing with other people's mental status. But on the other hand, if the thing is that Marcus is really going around raw dogging these people, you know, I looked up the STD rates and everything in Atlanta and they sky high. So obviously he's not caring about that, that he wants to raw dog all these women. You know, he wants to raw dog everybody. That's what they're coming out saying. We the people want to know exactly. Come out here and tell the fucking people. So this is what he said. Go ahead and read it, Lindsay. Now I want to give a little context to this because he put this comment up underneath Cut to the Chase's post about West Indies' response to Marcus. And she said, hey, y'all, Marcus deleted his own comment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Believe him if y'all want to for saying I'm trash. I haven't had a dude tell me that before. He definitely lying about some things in this post. Since he deleted it, there's no need for me to respond. But she responded. And then underneath a comment, Marcus left this comment. The comment was, if it was in her chat, she deleted it. Ain't no way he gonna type all that shit and delete it. Now this is what he left. We smashed after the rooftop interview. She bought wine with her, got tipsy, and started getting flirty and whatnot. I did too. We smashed. There was never any money involved or anything like that. She left her folding chair in my car. That was what we had to get back up for, which told me, oh, which took me over a week to do because I wasn't that interested. She chased me down every time under the guise of making content. Also, I definitely didn't delete any messages or comments I've previously written. Just to be clear, I'm pretty sure she blocked me, which caused the comment to disappear. She's 
she erased it because she didn't like his reply. I don't think she wanted us to hear what was said, to be honest with you. I don't think she wanted to. You know, it's always three sides to a story, and everybody should it should be able to tell their side to the story. And Marcus, I'm going to drop the link here in a minute if you want to come tell you uh, us your side of the story or if Westy wants to tell us the side of the story because Westy is explaining to us it, well, she never said they didn't have sex, okay? She just explained that the man wanted to not use condoms. So they was active, you know. They kicked, they kicked it. And in this message right here, he said it was never no money involved. So he didn't pay for it, as he say allegedly. In this message, he didn't pay for it. But again, we know Marcus, okay? He was tricking, buying food restaurant, whatever he was doing. This is his pattern, okay? This is his demeanor. He like he likes, he's just a, a sex maniac. You know what I'm saying? He's sick, so it doesn't matter if you got a condom or not. It doesn't matter. So, he paid for it. I bet you he paid for it. Y'all, come on. My thing is, she never said they didn't smash. She said he wanted to smash without protection. They both admitted that part was true. Okay, we'll think about it, honey. They don't really have to say we screwed. The problem was, Westy got upset because Marcus did not say she was a 10 out of 10, meaning she just was this beautiful thing. So something was going on before that occurred. I mean, they was kicking it. There was a video of Westy in Marcus's apartment. She was on the balcony. I mean, she really interviewed him a couple times. You got to be sort of dumb to not think they smashed. You said, I'm saying, and even do we need to read that again? Because he said he already smashed. This is coming out of Marcus's mouth. But she ain't saying that. Okay. Just nasty. Hell yeah, he nasty. Yeah, he is nasty. Okay. Let's go. So. If he smashed or he didn't smash, this is my thing. We all know that that is West Indies' profession. She's been doing this forever. She don't have a problem telling us what she's doing. I looked her up. She's all professional on different sites and shit. You know, and I was going to tell y'all, people in porn normally get tested. I don't know what Westy has, and I'm not saying she has nothing, but I'm sure she was tested dealing with porn. What you think, Lynn? Oh, for sure. That's mm -hmm. a requirement in that industry. Mm -hmm. And they said, somebody said, that's why people say she dumb because she, as a grown woman, who cares if another person thinks y'all 10 out of a 10, as long as you think you're a 10 out of 10. That was the whole point. If he would have said you was a 10 out of 10, we wouldn't have never heard the story. Or, or would you have to slept with him with a condom? I don't know. You know, and I, you know, I'm not taking Marcus's side because I truly think he's a nasty, you know, he has a nasty fear, a community dick out there in the line. I'm never going to take that away. And, you know, I just, he has showed us nothing but sleeping with vulnerable, homeless, mental health, disabled women. When it comes to Sonny's allegations, I really don't think it's true. That's my opinion. I really, after she rolled for him for that long, I really don't believe that bullshit. I just really don't. But I could be wrong. But he has not responded to Sonny's allegations. And we're trying to figure out why you haven't responded to Sonny's allegations. Is it true? Why are you hiding? So this is my thing. Is all this shit a lie for commentary and views and likes? Because like I said in my last video, if they going to run it up, I'm going to run it up too. And I'm going to break down the lies in this motherfucker. Westy came out here hustling. Period. I'm not knocking on hustle, y'all. Westy knew she wanted to grow. Okay? Hooked up with Marcus. Got on Atlanta Street interviews. But there's another side to this story. We have another blogger that is not too happy with Westy. And he's exposing how she's a scammer. She's getting donations. She's working. Um, 
she's back paging. To me, it sounds like she's hustling. But how he's going to break it down in live today, we're going to hear it a little bit. And if y'all don't know who this channel is, we're going to shoot out his channel. We're going to get back to his channel for y'all. I always got to let y'all up in here and know what's going on. Okay? God damn it. I took off. I couldn't wait to get off work to get up in here and say, oh, my God, y'all, this is a hot ass mess. This shit is getting nastier and nastier. And, and to be honest with you, I don't know O'Shea. Shout out to his channel. Shout out to his commentary. Um, You know, shout out to his video. We're just going to do a, re a review on this because he's not ha he's not pretty happy with this. So let me change the settings. I'm trying to make it where it ain't full screen for I won't get no copy strike. I got uh 300, almost 50 people in here listening. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button. Your girl is bringing some tea. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. This is a hot ass mess. All right. So I don't own rights to this. Let me put a disclaimer up. And then... um. Lindsay, if you don't mind shooting out his channel, if uh, one of my moderators want to put his link in the chat, we're going to give credit where it's due because uh, he's somewhat telling the truth over here, y'all. He's somewhat telling the truth. I've never watched this channel. Um, this was really my first time tuning in to him. I'm going to make sure I leave the link or someone's going to leave the link in the comments where we can know who he is and you can check it out by yourself. Because they not finna lie in our faces. Allizations, lies, all kind of stuff. That ain't cool. You playing with the people's mind, Marcus. You need to come out here and stand up for yourself and tell the damn truth. Allizations, not. Oh, girl, I got a little in my, in my words, okay? She gave him a sample, a sample first, right? Are you one of my trolls? Are you one of my trolls? Because you knew I was going live today. You got to be. Because all my people know my words don't come out right. They know that. They know I got a, uh, like this, uh, you know, dyslexia. So you got to be a troll in here talking shit. I don't believe son, but I don't believe her neither. I don't believe her, and I don't believe I'm just coming. This club is a pack pack party. Yes, it is. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't believe Westy. I do believe they were screwing, you know. Um, I don't believe Marcus didn't pay for it because from my understanding, he real good at tricking and See, Westy was a cutie. He could carry her around to different stores and date her, and that's what he did with Yana. He wanted to make sure Yana's hair and clothes was done when she went out with him. So it's a pattern. So once he got Westy, oh, God, I could flaunt her. She got this butt. Turn around. Let me show y'all her butt. Just not helping the homeless people. Marcus, you should be ashamed of yourself because you really came out here like you was helping these homeless people. And you're not. You're not. You're screwing them. And allegedly, some people have been leaving comments in my comment section. You screwed a couple of men, too. And allegedly, you, Yana, and Josiah hooked up in one of them freak offs. Allegedly. Okay? I'm going off what somebody is sending me, y'all. Remember, people sends me information. So I don't know if that's true. But allegedly, Josiah and Yana. And Marcus had a big freak off. That was the threesome nobody talked about. But who's to say Yana could correct me if I'm wrong? Marcus could correct me if I'm wrong because I don't know these people. I'm just reporting it to my people. Damn, I almost got 400 people in here. Y'all, ooh, make sure the lights, likes match the views. So I have to give credit where it's due, right? You want to shoot out his name and we're going to get started. Let me put a disclaimer up here. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I don't own rights to this. And we will try to talk in between to give commentary. Let's go.
Shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. And O'Shea, if you see this video, love your work, brother. And we're just reviewing your um your commentary because I agree with some of the things you were saying in your commentary, sir. Let's go. A few days ago, I covered this story about this ex-sex worker who became homeless in Atlanta. I found her particular information on Atlanta Street Interviews YouTube channel, which did about 116 or 119,000 views. Now, this lady has been kicked out of homeless shelters. She's been in and out of relationships. And all the time that she has opportunities, it appears to me that she blows it. Not because she has two children or not because she's a woman, because she makes bad decisions. Now, she's also on TikTok. And you will typically see her in the post asking for money on GoFundMe like this. I'm just looking forward to some things, having a productive day. And the link to my GoFundMe is in my bio. So make sure you guys support that. Um, I appreciate anything you guys to give to me. Thank you. Uh, working on, you know, using the money towards to go towards housing. Did you say pause it? No, I said thank you, Dirty, for putting O'Shea's link in here. If you guys want to go watch the whole video, I have to give credit where it's due. Check out his link, you know what I'm saying? And go check out the full video because we're going to do commentary in between. Thank you, Dirty. Go ahead, girl. To at least, you know, put towards rent for like at least a good up to three months. Uh, take care of any like bills, get me started in you know, our new home and, you know, just taking care of some things, you know, that can help me and my children to be on the road to, you know, stability here. So I'll appreciate everything and I hope you guys have a great day and just keep on watching my journey for that piece. And then she'll give some positive updates about her life. Good morning, everyone. I am at work made it on time hey guys there's some trolls uh, coming in here this like, is why i stopped shopping okay. on amazon and you should too don't spend another dime on amazon i have to say that's that possible. i am thankful Moz, I'm going to talk in between to do commentary, but can y'all make sure we got 400 something people in the chat. Make sure y'all see my trolls coming up in here. If y'all already know, I mean, we got new subscribers, but if they're coming in here talking about we want to see you too, bitch, you see me on the picture. If I decide to come on the camera, I'm going to come on the camera. If you see them in here trying to throw shots at what I'm saying, those are some trolls. That probably ain't subscribed. Time they ass out. This ain't their time. This ain't about you, Sonny. This ain't about none of you motherfuckers but the names that's on the title. So I ain't even, I'm going to let my chat handle y'all. They're talking about let me see you. If I want to get on the camera, I will. That's my choice. Okay? So y'all handle the people in the chat. I appreciate y'all, Moss. Thank you so much. Right, y'all don't girl. come over here and make demands and think we just gonna jump because you say jump or show your face to show your face. No, it don't work like oh. that. Oh, you meant on my channel. Okay, well, it didn't come out like that, but I don't mind coming over. I, I've never seen you before. Welcome to my channel, and I don't mind coming to your channel. I don't mind. I don't mind networking and I don't mind sharing. But the mods in my um members you know our classic roses is gonna check you out for me that's what they do over here they look out for you girl and i look out for them i feel like he's okay you ready showing the faces are relevant i all that is a it's a distraction on what i'm trying to get out right that part that part they're coming in here distracting get the hell out of here i should have kept it on a subscriber but i don't know how to do all that stuff we going to get this business out here. It's almost 500 people in this chat. Y'all hit the damn link. Let me put my damn cash app up. I am out of town if you would like to um, assist. But let's go. I'm ready, Lindsay. 
My bad, I was reading a comment. I'm blessed. Um, yesterday, once we left that hotel, um, someone did reach out, helped me, which was great. And my and right before we left out the room, I called my coworker, and because she has asked, she was the one who helped me get the room and everything. You know, she's been very like helpful this whole process um, during that week. And she just moved into her new home with her and her two boys. And she said, where are you guys going? So I, I really didn't have like, well, I had like an idea what I wanted to do at least to get out the room, um, which was to try to go to my storage unit, put what we had in our storage unit because I didn't have nowhere to go at the time and try to get my boys something to eat. But thank God she said, you could come to us, you know, um, when we're getting the U-Haul to try to get the rest of our stuff out of storage and, you know, go to Walmart, Sam's Club, things like that. So I just looked at it like a blessing. Like, so she said my older son to go with her and her boys, you know, to help out and stuff. And me and my baby, we stayed. She gave me her house key. And I ended up walking. Um, thank God there was a plaza close by. And I got me and the baby something to eat and everything, and everything, and everything, and everything. Now she'll get some money. She'll get some help. And then, well, it seems like things are going well for her. But she always ends up in a worse situation. She even came back to Atlanta Street interviews and she was questioned about her consistent begging for money from her subscribers. So what is your response to people saying, all right, you're basically doing internet begging? What's your response to that? I don't consider it internet begging. Like to me, that's not a definition of begging. I'm simply a mother who's really trying out here. Oh, like, he's gonna break people this are just down. judging me. That's all it is. And they call it like, oh, we're not hating on you or jealous of you, but you are hating because you're being very judgmental. You're being mean. You don't really truly know me. So why be so rude and mean when you could just ask me a question? and I'll answer it. Like people are just seeing one video and they're just judging me off one video instead of really following my story. Like I'm not faking this. I'm not no scam, like nothing. Like I really post posting because I genuinely need help. Help, help, help. Then she got enough money to buy a car and this happened. You know, I happened to got paid after that same day. So I was like a hundred dollars short. So the person, you know, I was dealing with, you know, um, he, gave me a hundred to put towards or else I wouldn't, if, if it wasn't for him, I would have never got that car to be honest. Well, how much was it total? They wanted me to put a thousand down on the car. Okay. And it would have so been three years to pay it off. My car payment was 275 every paycheck and I get paid bi-weekly. Okay. So he's paying, I mean, that's, that's, that's a decent amount. That's 550 a month, right? 550 a month. How much was the insurance? Um, My car insurance is 500 and something. A month? Yeah, because I had an um, insurance lab. I didn't know, like, if you go months without car insurance, um, it'll be harder for you to get car insurance next time. So right. I learned so, my lesson. So here's the thing, right? Some people are going to hear that, and they're going to say, well, that's $1,000 a month. That's over $1,000 a month. Do you think that that type of expenditure is justified in the position that you're yes, in? Yes, back to here um, tonight. Well, Ari, my one car was down bad. He needed, like, work done. That would have cost money. And I, you know, I would have loved to have a vehicle to get around with me and my kids so it was easier, you know. That's right. She bought a car with a very big payment that she could not afford. But still, she's not done begging and asking for money. Okay, thank you. My thumb and my, my neck feel like I just feel a little stiff. <sighs> My thumb. Hello. No, Push not that files. I know of. Push files. First of all, we not weak over here. We just don't do the bullshit. We not weak, honey. We just don't do the bullshit. If they timed you out, you must have said something nasty. Not only, okay, she clearly has to. My moms know what to do, and they will get rid of you. Okay? That's it. That's all. Hey, Ebony, what's going on? You back here, huh? Okay, keep going. I got 500 in here. Hit that like, like, y'all. Hit that like, like. Thank y'all for handling the chat. Like, motherfuckers like this, I've never seen before. 
If y'all gonna come in here, come in here and listen to the commentary and fucking be nice. I don't mind y'all coming in here with different opinions, but don't come in here dodging and talking shit. Because you might be one of our trolls that need to go bye-bye. I'm trying to give you a chance to talk. Okay. You so crazy, belly mo mo mantra. Okay. You know, there's like a common thing with all these people that interview, like Marcus is bringing out on these YouTube streets. What's that? They all some beggars, bro. All of them. They all dry begging. Some way or another, they all dry begging. And the thing is, Marcus put them out here and tell them put their cash app out and I'll promote y'all's channels. Pretty much, I'm going to tell my people about y'all and my people is the one donating. They said, Marcus, it's too cheap to give these people some money. Right. So, he ain't giving it. He's making his subscribers give it to him. Exactly. Exactly. And what Shay Passionate Fine, what he's saying is he didn't pay for it. And she ain't really saying they screwed or not. Marcus, it's 500 people in here. We need some accountability. We need you to come out here and dress we the people, okay? We need to understand this. Is you out here tricking? You say you wasn't tricking. You don't want to be called a trick. You know, how are you helping the homeless women by sleeping with them? That's what I want to know. How are you helping them? I'm digging into you, Marcus. I'm not going to stop. Now I'm curious about the 18-year-old girl that you just interviewed from Oklahoma. You know, my people's reaching out to her people to get her back home or get her away from you because I noticed you like them young. You like them young. You know, you got to go back to one of my videos, y'all, when I was talking about spiritual vampires and energy vampires. Why won't this man mess with a regular man, a regular woman or man his age? Why they got to be young and fragile and mental health and disabled? What's wrong? And why you want to raw dog everybody? And why is the women letting you raw dog them? I don't get this shit. Is it a bunch of lies, some truth? I mean, you know, every, like for real though, y'all. Why would you let this man sleep with you without a condom. If Even if he is screwing around like regular men do, why let him do it without a condom to the ones that did screw him with the con without a condom? You know, on periods and all kinds of shit, uh, whatever. Without a condom on the first day, whatever. This shit is sounding sick. Something ain't right with this. Okay. Now, I don't want y'all to be playing in front of the people's faces and lying and making commentary. We already know he got a dirty dick, okay? We don't need all these lying-ass stories. We need Marcus to come out here and tell the fucking truth. Go ahead and finish playing, girl. <laughs> Okay. That's interesting. She is a good looking lady. She ended up meeting a homeless boyfriend at a homeless shelter and they got together. Let's see. And y'all know me. Y'all know me as West Indy. So we're just going to keep it at that. If you know my real name, that's cool too. I love my real name. And yeah, this is Will. So first things first. How did we meet each other? <laughs> you can start. She hustling the followers. No offense to her hustle, but I mean, please talk loud so they can hear you. Get a good job, Westy. Program. Um, and be real, because I'm real real with my viewers. And if she ain't program. here, she can hit the link. Well, we're both we're faced with homelessness. And she walked in and caught my attention. And Hold on, push pause. Needed, I wanted to talk to her. So I asked. How many likes I got, y'all? Is the likes matching the views in here, or is everybody just listening? Well, there's 163 likes and 520 y'all in the chat. So can I get like a couple? Of, uh, what I ain't gonna put a number. Can I get some more likes for we could finish the video? 
it's not matching. It's not matching. I want to finish this on out. I got something at the end. Let's like it on up for I can finish playing. You could be an oh you oh y'all. You know, if you don't like somebody in the chat and they don't like you, baby, just ignore that person. You ain't got to be in the bushes. Just ignore the person if y'all don't get along. Everybody welcome. Right, passionately fine. Wesky, there's no way you selling cat and you can't afford to pay rent. How are you with this big hustler and ain't, and you broke as hell? Somebody said keep it on pause. Let's get the likes up, y'all, because we're going to do this. Y'all not leaving. Y'all still here. 504. Let's get the likes up. Keep it on pause till you get more likes. Thank you for liking the ones that like it like. I'm new to this channel. And is it good? I don't know what's. You know what, honey? You have to go back. A lot of us is on board with the subject line and the um title, honey. Okay. My brother is listening. You said, my brother is listening and said, you sound like you are from here. Told him you are from the West Coast and really knows what time it is. That's a girl from Denver, Colorado. I'm busy using my hands and I can't watch the screen. Oh, okay, that's fine. These hoes hustling backwards. Girl, ooh-wee. There ain't no way she should have been in a hotel laying up with this man, but I'm not here to bash away, uh, Westy. We just gonna break this shit down. What is our likes looking like? Can I move on? We are 201. Let's go. Fuck it. If they hit it or not, let's keep going. Come on, y'all. Get over. We over too much. So I told her she was going to look better with me in the picture. And that's the truth. That's how I got it. The Nickelodeon was kid everything. But that marked one of the darkest chapters. These are three predators who worked at Nickelodeon. But there is one problem. The homeless boyfriend also dumped her. Okay, so basically, ever since that video, we have not, like, talked. But then... A few days later, he did hit me up. And mind you, he was following my YouTube channel, which I was aware of. But I don't honestly know if he's still following it to even know about what people have said about him and things like that. I'm not even sure if he's still following me at this point. But there was a time where he did obviously see my YouTube channel and stuff. And so basically, uh, he did hit me up and kind of act like as if pretty much nothing ever happened. First thing he said was he shared some good news, which was he got a new place and he moves in, you know, that following Thursday. And then the next day, because I didn't say nothing back, I didn't even open the message because, like, he has it on, like, if you read it or not. And uh, ooh, my son, give me one second. Okay, so basically, after that, the next day, he hit me up. He's saying, I pray everything goes well for you and everything like that. Like, a little positive message. I still didn't respond to him. Because it's like, is this like, what, bipolar? Like, what is this? Like, you know? It's like, anywho. And then some time went by. And then I think, what was it? Oh, and then I, I think it was when he got moved in or right before he got moved in, he hit me the following day after that. And he said, you know, I don't want you to go down like this or something like that. Like, uh, I want, um, if you ever need a place to stay, uh, you come to my place for a night, like give me your kids. And it's like, he said it for a night. So again, after the guy dumped her, you know, people come onto her page and they say things like, you know, you're not really homeless. She need to go get a job. So she claps back at people in this fashion. I'm in the car with my kids, homeless. And I'm just like looking through the comments because, you know, like, I'm taking a little second. But, like, I just, listen, we're not doing this. We're not doing that, okay? Like, y'all is some big time haters. The ones who are not hating, mwah, thank you guys so, so, so much. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the ones who I give you guys my attention. Yeah. But quiet, quiet. But everybody else, 
this is what I, I've been saying. Y'all so quick to run your mouth. When I clearly say, if y'all have any questions, comment below and I will answer them in a YouTube video. Okay? Y'all up there just making assumptions, blase, 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 like you know me and you don't know me. You don't know me, okay? Let's be clear. Very clear. Exactly. So I'm going to say this again because I'm not going to be doing it back and forth. Is that the sun talking about way, exactly? Okay? So, if you have any questions regarding my situation, ask the question, and I will. I'm answer just it listening. Pull up, pull up. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, I'm just gonna keep looking at you, laughing, because guess what? I'm just gonna keep on posting, being myself, doing, doing what I need to do for me and my kids. And if you guys don't like it, well, that's just too goddamn bad. How about you get off my page, go watch a movie, read. Do whatever you need to do, but stop worried about me then, because you're not helping me. This I'm posting for people that are willing to help me, that do care about me, that, you know, we're in this together, or I want to see the next person win. But y'all so busy being judgmental, hating on me, and God knows I'm trying to get my shit together. Shit together, shit together, shit together. So you see, it becomes everyone else's fault. And let me kind of tell you guys something that I learned in life, and course she did a video about me responding to her which i'll get to a little bit later but i do want to discuss this guys you're gonna see ladies in your life that are gonna be attractive they're gonna have what you want they're gonna have be a good vibe but ultimately no man can overcome a woman who consistently makes bad decisions if she makes bad decisions for herself and then always makes excuses for those bad decisions you're gonna get your life ruined it's just true it's not even worth let me just say this worth trying to even sleep with such women. What good is going to come out of it? Because if you mess around and get her pregnant and remember, she got pregnant by a 60 year old guy who was her manager. Oh, I didn't know yes, that. Yes. So basically my baby's dad for my youngest, um, he is not random. Okay. I knew him for a couple months. At first we started off as like friends, you know, cool on some like cool stuff. And then, like, later First on call. in the year, that's when we started to get, like, intimate and everything. But she's blaming people, like, when you say blaming people, how is she blaming people? He's saying she's blaming people by everything happens to her is because of something else. The family is because of the baby's daddy. Like, she's not really taking accountability of why are you really in this situation and... You're supposed to be homeless, but you're driving a Benz. You got all these donations coming. You on OnlyFans. It's like things ain't adding up. It just ain't. How was you in a homeless shelter? I understand. She said she got away from the little boy's daddy, but who is the little boy's daddy? And I'm not here just to dissect West. I'm helping with this, you know, review of what God dude said, because he said some good shit in here. And, you know, we critical thinkers over here, y'all. We gonna break some shit down. So, you know, they both need to be accountable. You know, but she did, she was smart by not screwing dude with a condom, period, point blank. She was very smart by that. She's going by her job. But if you out here, poor hustling, and when I say poor hustling, Westy, that does not mean I'm coming at you. I'm saying by donating and as begging people and stuff is like poor hustling. If you say you're out here getting that money, you get that money. I understand the children are slowing you down from getting the money. So I ain't going to get my opinion yet. Go ahead, Lindsay. He's not no stranger to me. I don't know what he's doing. I don't be having babies by no random one night stands. Okay. We actually had chemistry. We, you know, this, that, and the third, seen each other multiple occasions, that type of situation. So it wasn't like he was just a random guy. Okay. And yeah, how about you go to my YouTube channel and check that out? And then I'll say, oh, my oldest um, dad, he wasn't some random guy either. He was a guy I obviously met and we started talking, that type of thing. But that was when I was younger. But anywho, but my youngest child, he was definitely not no random guy. Let's be clear. What would that tell you about her decision making? It's bad. She's on here talking about how the guy is a deadbeat dad. The reason why I keep bringing it up is because, so, did you know that he, like, wasn't, like, was, was he a good dad to his other kids when you met him? 
that's what the kids seem like. He's he's a, he's definitely in their life. But my new baby, he's he's in his sixties, so. Sixty. He, he Wait, was this someone that you were doing business with? <laughs> it was um a business. We worked at the same job. The store manager. Were you like attracted to him, or were y'all just? Um, I'm not gonna lie, was. Was he like uh kind of <laughs> helping you out? I mean, he was attractive out? to me. But um, you know, it was a business type of thing. I know you're not supposed to mix mix business with pleasure. I never done that before on a job. So like, this is a six year old man that doesn't want to take care of his baby. Mm -hmm. You want to call this guy? Out? And I've been trying to put him on child support, but. And that's been taking a long time. Do you want to call this guy out? Because here's the thing, right? I'm a dad. Yeah, I'll call him out. I don't like deadbeat dads. Me neither. What's this guy's name? Joseph Flock. And he works at This Is It Barbecue and Seafood. Camp Which Creek. one? Camp Creek? The main one. He's a store manager. <laughs> what? Store manager. What? He don't take care of his kids and all of that. So that lady makes bad decisions, bro. What you need to do is get the hell up out of there as fast as you can. Run. Go run, tell that. Don't, it's not even worth trying to clap cheeks, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen this. I've seen so many dudes ruin their lives trying to deal with a chick like this because she's cool. She has good vibes. But man, you, you keep seeing no matter what kind of opportunity this lady will get, if you help her, if you send her GoFundMe, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your money because she's going to find a way to blow it all anyway. You'd be better off keeping your money. And she probably does need the help. But the help that she needs is not financial. She needs counseling. She needs mental help. And you throwing money at somebody like this is not going to help her case. You can get mad at me all you want, but I'm just telling you what is the truth. People like this got to be avoided because they're going to ruin their own life. And then they're going to ruin your life, too. Now, I know she's going to watch this video and you can be mad if you want and, and make a video. But it's true. You need professional help. How to overcome unaccountability itis. And once you can do that, maybe things will get better for you. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy Shady Jackson back at again. Another episode of. Well, y'all, Capri, you could go first. Y'all, what's going on? Oh shit! Am I echoing? I wanted to make sure I'm not echoing before. Because I see you got a different opinion. So uh, I always do. I'm always gonna go against the grain. I respect y'all, but I'm gonna go against the grain, and I'm gonna have to say this for for her, really. Um. I wasn't really paying attention. I was kind of paying attention to what he was saying. But I'm going to say this, though. She's really trying to get us to, to believe her, I guess. I mean, why would she be telling her story? She would want us to believe her. But I, it's not. It's not giving believable, girl. You know, right. you're in the entertainment industry, and we know you will say anything to get us to uh, believe whatever you want us to believe. So, girl, no. I respect your hustle. And whatever you want to do, you want to sell your pussy, that's on you, sis. But um, you can't fool somebody that's lived that, that life and been out there and still out there. Girl, stop. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Lindsay, because I, oh, I'm finna let loose. <laughs> Dude was <laughs> lying, though. <laughs> Anybody, if you want to hit the panel, you can hit the panel. Go ahead, Lindsay. I said, Dude wasn't lying. And you Good night, Lisa. Tell she's vague on some parts, and you definitely can tell she don't want to take accountability for her part, or she, you know, I don't know if it's embarrassment or what, but you know how we were all in school and we were dating a guy that might not been desirable, so you might not want to tell nobody. That's what I kind of feel like she was doing. Uh, but then hopped on the bandwagon to come out and down this man like some of these other girls have come out here with a story to get their views popping. That's what I'm saying was her story for views because she was okay with it until he didn't say she was a 10 out of a 10. I mean, you know, she does have some flaws. Now, please understand this, guys. I am not here to bash Westy, okay, because her profession is a profession. She came out here, you know, telling us her profession, that she holds, she do all that, you know, and that's up to her if she want to do all that. I wish these women had more self-respect for themselves and feel like they need to lay up on their back to get a couple of dollars from some men. I really do, okay, but 
I'm going to let everybody else tell their opinion. Can you um turn off the background or something's going on with your phone? You got two devices on? Oh, hold on. It's my mic. My fault. Okay, push mute, y'all. Oh, Shay did a good interview, but in his word, it's everybody's fault but hers. That's what I'll say, said. This ain't coming out of my mouth. We just going over what went on. She is now working a legal legal job as a housekeeper. Yes, she is. And I think she's doing it for her children, you know. Yeah, I don't believe her because it's like she has to think too hard. Well, like I said yesterday before we let uh uh K uh how you say your name? I always brutal it. It's Shan. Shan, okay. Yeah. Shan. Before I let her talk. Um, yeah, something's going on. Do you, um, okay, it's less. Y'all, I mean, is this for views and likes? Uh, is they playing with us? Um, I'm, you know. No, I definitely I'm, feel like they be playing in our face a lot, Sheena. I'm they serious. Do. Remember how he sat there and did that crying and that bullshit with the lady in the prayer and shit and came right out here screwing on Westy while Sonny was waiting in the basement for a day. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's why I don't take him serious no more after all that. I, I mean, I, what's real? What's real and what's not real? Look, it seemed like he was stalking Josiah's and the whole family. And if Marcus is here, he could hit the link. You know, we're not scared to speak to you, Marcus. We, the people, want to know what the fuck, okay? Like, what's... And somebody left a comment. It was such a good comment. It was um, the truth. He said, finally, we are seeing what he's been trying to tell us with Marcus that he, he, you know, he has a sex problem and he believes that the baby's mama is the one had Marcus go to therapy and he's not telling us what he went to therapy for. And the whole chat was trying to understand why he was in therapy when he went to therapy and he ain't telling us why he went to therapy. If he is so open with the interviewees asking them all their personal stuff, why couldn't he tell us why he in therapy? I don't mind talking about my mental health, but go ahead, Shane. Uh, go ahead, speak your piece. So, first of all, I feel like with West Indy, with, I'm gonna say this, she embarrasses me, I am West Indian. And we don't play that, like, a lot of things we do are, are deemed shameful, first of all, so, you know, her do stepping out and talk about it. I mean, I commend her on that part. However, I noticed she has zero accountability for anything that she does. You have never heard her say, you know, such and such happening. Yeah, I fucked up. Or it, you know, it's always somebody else, you know, it, or, or, or an excuse for that matter. You know, you never hear her say, you know, this is why I'm homeless, because I made these mistakes. And girl, don't make these mistakes. You know, I'm having to sell my coochie for this reason. Don't do this so you don't have to do that. You know what I mean? And it's like a lot of other people have said, you've done a lot of degrading things. And like, and I don't even mean selling pussy, because I mean, if we're being honest, we all sold our coochie in some form or fashion. We were all fucked up. Nigga, we didn't really want to fuck, because we wanted to our... Not even sold it. We all then gave it up for free. I mean, yeah. let's keep it a buck for nothing. You know, a couple of them had a one night stand before. We don't exactly. keep it real over here. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, and it's like, I mean, you just have to, you got to take your L's and move on. That's one, the only way that you're going to learn. Two, the only way people are going to really try to really find it in it in themselves to rock with you because she does have a lot of haters and I truly believe that's because she doesn't own up to her own shit and just be like I I messed up here you know even with the Marcus thing it's still you know you're mad at him because what you he don't think you pretty who cares that lets us everybody know you clearly have an insecurity issue you're a beautiful woman I mean and you try to portray that but if he's telling you you're not a set out of sin, and you getting all mad, deleting comments, and doing whatever it is that she's doing. 
that's a clear indication that you have an issue with inside yourself. And that also lets other men know that they can control you on that level. All they got to do is say you a 10 out of 10 and you giving it up. You know, you letting people know how to come in and manipulate you. You know what I mean? I mean, and you're already on YouTube and that is kind of, you have to be careful how you present yourself anyway, because if you're not careful, you people will stickers. learn how to um, manipulate you because you're just opening up yourself to a lot of different things anyway, because you're on YouTube. I mean, that's why I feel like you have to kind of control it. And then with her children, I feel like she keeps them because, you know, having kids make people feel bad for you because ultimately who's going to really feel bad for her when she don't have them babies? You know what I mean? And But I've also heard her say that she keeps them because she don't like their 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 father's girlfriends or their new relationships or something like that. And those are boys. And so ultimately what you're doing is teaching your boys, you know, not enough because as a, as a woman, we can't teach our sons how to be men. We can mm -hmm. show them how to treat women, you know, or, you know, but we can't show them manly things. Like I have a son. I didn't know how to teach him how to use the bathroom standing up. I need to call his daddy. And as much as I didn't like him, I had to call him. You know, so it's like you still have you're still taking away from your children, and you know, like I said, to me, it's the math don't be mathing when it comes to her, and that's ultimately my issue with her. Okay, well, let me comment because the boy's daddy did want his son back. You know, he didn't even want his son, the older boy, with Westy because of her lifestyle, and she's so public with it, and. She's so open with it around the children. And like you said, that is a boy. But she did say that um, the boy's daddy, you know, wanted his son because he didn't want. She actually went and took the boy from the um, baby daddy's wife or girlfriend because he ended up going to jail and he had the older son. So she went and took him from the girl, but never gave it back to the dad where it seemed like he was in good hands with his father. He wouldn't have had to watch his mom home. Again, I have no problem with her profession. Every Each is on. I never had to sell no pussy, no, none of that, but each is on. You know, I, and I, I get that too, Sheena, but still, we got to stop sitting here acting like we don't see her with these two boys. And how do we feel about it? It's not really up for us to say nothing, but fuck it, it is to at the same time. She got these two sons. Her Here we go. Let's talk about it. Let's they they talk seeing her holding herself out for money. How are they gonna how is that gonna affect them really? Like we gotta think about yep. the adverse effects of some of the toxic shit that we do as parents. And uh the father would definitely probably be a more suitable person to watch to look after the kids. Mm -hmm. They're they're boys. He's the father. You got a static um Capri. I took my headphones off. Okay, good. Thank you. They're boys. He's the father. They belong with Much better. That's how I feel about it. And that's all I'm going to say for now. I agree. I mean, I agree with you because I feel like ultimately, like you said, you're giving them a bad example. So you, they see their mama hoeing. That's going to affect, let's be real, the level of respect they have for women. Because they're going to think you just throw some money at her. She going to do whatever you want to do. And I mean, for me, you can throw thousands of dollars at me i'm still not gonna do some of the stuff that she has done and i don't care you know you could markets could come in my face uh, all day long and i'm not sir no thank you you know what i mean i don't care how much money you have you can't control me with your money and that's one thing i think they with. think he got money i think they think he's some kind of yeah, I think they think he's like some type of sugar daddy, but one, if they pay attention to him, he's extremely stingy. So, girl, you ain't going to get fired with that one. But two, yeah, like I said, it exposes you as a person because now somebody with some money, you know, they can come show you their money or, or somebody who, let's say they just kind of happen to come up on some money or whatever. They know that they can come and show you their money and you're going to degrade yourself or do whatever that they want you to do because they have this amount of money, you know? And like, for, like I said, for me, you can't, I, I have children with two extremely wealthy men. Like they have a lot of money and they know, I, I don't care No, We not doing that. You know, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I don't care what you did with somebody else. I'm, like that doesn't, it doesn't move me. Money does not move me. I don't care. I'm just not going to do things that I, I just can't do. You know, like, I mean, I'm not going to say I haven't made mistakes because I have, but 
when it comes to, you know, selling, coaching, and doing all that, I just, that's where I feel like I just can't do it. I, I mean, you know, and. So when you and, say you was Westy, what do you mean by that? So, like, so I, I said, I said, I'm West Indian. So, like, you know, West Indians, we are from the from from the West Indies. So, like, my my background is, I am, my grandmother's Bahamian. My grandfather was Bayesian from Barbados. My daddy is Dominican, and one side is other other side is from Antigua. And so, I am a plethora of Virgin Islands put together, and you know. Um, West Indians, especially people from like New York and stuff like that, they know it's a certain culture. Like your culture is a, a very strict way, and so um, a lot of that culture is you do not talk about your business, especially if it's nothing positive that you're talking about. And you know, I mean, and for me, I I didn't. I went against the grain with that because I feel like some things have to be told so the next generation cannot have to go through those things. So, like, I am different in that aspect. But, I mean, it's just like, I don't like how she just you, presents herself as such an airhead. Like, you know, sometimes she just seems like it's like it's, there's nothing connecting in her brain. And it's like you keep making these bad decisions. However, are you learning from your bad decisions? Because it just doesn't really seem that true. Are because the next decision or the next out outcome seems to be a little bit worse than the one before. You know, you needed a car, you didn't need a Benz. You didn't need a Benz. You could have went and got you a car. Mm -hmm. You know I what I mean? Because she got an apartment. Exactly. Like, come on, like that didn't that doesn't make any sense. And then you went and wrecked it, and that lets you know that you didn't need it because. You know, things don't happen for no reason. You know, I'm a firm believer everything happens for a reason. And you continually to go through these bad situations because you are not learning from the situation that happened before. You know, like, I I have done things before. And one thing about me, I am, I will, I am humble. I will humble myself and I will take my L. I will take responsibility for the things that I have done. And because I do that... I continue to learn and get blessed more and more and more. And people look at me a lot of times like, why do I have the stuff I have? And I've done the things that I've done, you know. I mean, but that's because I am an open book. You can ask me anything you want to ask me. I'm going to let you know, you know. But I also learn from what I've done wrong, you know. And I tell my children, don't do this because you don't want to have to live this type of life. Or don't do this because you don't want this to Thank happen. You, baby. you know, and so I just feel like, Sometimes you just have to, you have to accept, you have to, what is it like? Meet yourself where you are. It is what it is. You know, you may be okay. why you are, are here, you know? Can y'all all push me real quick? I want to say something. Mm -hmm. And it's a static coming from somebody's phone when I talk. I don't know if one of y'all got a, a device on, but thank you, Dirty. Thank you, uh, Dollar. Oh, man. Thank you guys for the super chat. I appreciate you guys. You know I do. I told you all I'm going to start. Dang. I, I got it started for you. I love y'all. I'm finna say thank you to you, too. You know I am, gangster granny. I'm waiting on my damn... um. Thank you, Gangsta Granny. Gangsta Granny's trying to get me to come down there for uh, Mother's Day. I'm thinking about it. It ain't that far from it. Tennessee, Tennessee. Um, let me comment on this real quick. And I'm going to be honest. I got to be honest. She should have left the children with their kids, but then she did have the baby. Okay, so... For my, I don't know where that baby's family is. Like, I don't know. As the guy is 60 or whatever. And this is not to bash her again. This is to break down the West End of Marcus situation because I'm sitting here for the last couple of days and I'm saying, well, damn. Was it really about him saying she wasn't beautiful? So she said, oh, he didn't use a condom. Is this a storyline? to get views on her channel, which they do get storylines and views do go up. And she was, and someone explained to me, she wasn't getting views like that. We, are, we all been knowing that she came in here. And when she came in here, she says she wants followers. Basically, she wants tricks. That's why she goes on her channel half naked. That's why she goes selling her body and things like that. So people 
that is feeling like she's a victim of Marcus. Again, y'all, this girl ain't no victim. She just didn't want to use no condom. I mean, Marcus is still nasty. But, like, everybody this man sleep with is not a victim because they're willing to sleep with him. Is they a victim of his bullshit and abuse and uh, narcissist? Yeah. But did they have the decision to wear a condom with him? Yes. And she decided to wear a condom with him. And it pissed him off where everybody else wouldn't let him run them. I mean, basically, he will, you know, he could you he didn't have to use a condom with all these other ladies. But with this one, she said no. So that pissed him off. Like he can't have if he can't have his way, it's on to the next one. If, if you say something bad to me, it's on to the next one. I'm going to throw you away like a piece of shit, but I brought you out here as an interviewer, homeless, with children, or mental health, or handicapped, as an interviewee, because I was supposed to be helping you, not fucking you. Like, this is so backwards and so demonic and, like, ah, oh man, y'all. I mean, like, I'm just like, okay, are they playing with us? Because I'm going to play along. I'm going to run these, these I'm going to run it up with y'all. I'm going to dissect you motherfuckers every damn thing y'all say. And then y'all might get mad and say I'm coming at Westy like I came at Yana. I did not. I am not coming at Westy. I think Westy is making dumb decisions by coming on YouTube saying she, you know, she wants to find some tricks and all that instead of then doing it professional like she was or really get a really good job that can afford her expensive but again she likes a lot of expensive stuff you know she wants some more things done to her body so she has a goal but don't come out here like oh i need donations for my kids in a hotel if the money is going for you more work on your body to sell your body you see what i'm saying like it's just, it's not adding up, y'all. And I'm not going to go after her. I just decided to show y'all what the other channel is saying about her. And, you know, and Marcus, his little bullshit ass reply. If y'all just got here, we're going to bring it back up. Uh, the, thank you, guys. Oh, I love y'all. I truly do love y'all. Thank y'all for the super stickers. Um, if you didn't see Marcus's response to Westy, which she said she wasn't going to respond to Marcus, but she did. It's like a fucking game they playing in front of our faces. And Sonny is the only one out here, yeah, playing along with the shit. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I'm trying to read the chat to see what y'all think. Oh, yeah, I don't and, and, and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, um, Go ahead. Anyway. I just want to say this. Is she getting mad about you? Saying how you, this is the truth. You're not saying nothing wrong and you're not trying to make her look back. You're trying to help her to correct her behavior or think about stuff in a different way. So if she's a type of way, then maybe it's because she can't accept um, critique or somebody to up uh, or judgment from, you know, but we're women here. We won't, I, I, I know I do. And I know from your heart, Sheena, the type of person that you are, you want us to do better. I do. Even if y'all don't like me, I want everybody to do better. Even my trolls that follow me every day, I want people to do better because I've been there and I got better. I'm still getting better. So, you know, if she sees this video, it's dupe. You know, like, hey, girl, this is not looking good. Yes, Marcus is nasty. Yes, the story's going to come on out about Marcus and we will be here reporting it. But. To be going on there talking about, I just got done sleeping with my homeless ex-boyfriend without a condom and he nutted in me. I'm like, girl, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm holding my tongue because I don't want people to think I'm bashing this girl. But is she slow a little bit? Like, because I was calling her top notch hoeing. I thought she was up there top notch. Why do y'all think she's slow though? I, I just let her quit because I don't see it. Maybe because I'm slow that I don't see 
how she slow. Well, I'm slow too. You see my words come out wrong. They tried to come in here and correct me. When I say she's slow, I mean like Denzi, like like don't know really the street, or maybe she that's a persona or a show. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, get girls play dumb. Girls know how to play dumb. It's part of the game. Mm-mm-mm. Just wait for the shits. It's coming. Oh, Mocha, we gonna be right and ready when it comes. So she stopped. Okay, well, we gonna show y'all what uh Marcus said real quick. Again, for the ones that just got here. Because he's, you're a coward, Marcus. These people couldn't keep coming out here saying, I'm doing this and doing this and not standing up for myself. There is two ladies out here with some allegations, especially Sonny. Now, we, you know, Sonny, unfortunately, your shit just ain't adding up. It just, you was enjoying it. He was Papa Smurf. It will never go to court. I followed all kind of cases with the Diddy, and the, I'm following all that shit. And it will never go to court. And if it does go to court, it's probably going to get thrown out. And then my thing is this: if she is lying, they need to stop women from lying about men arming them too. You know what I'm saying? Because. This shit is getting out of control. All you got to do is lay up with a woman and she going to say they are you. Uh-huh. That's we scary. That's scary. Protect y'all sons against these women that be doing stuff like this, too. Exactly. exactly. And Go there, ahead, is, there is a five-year penalty for putting false accusations on people. So be very aware of that when you're out here telling lies. Sonny. Not just her. Others as well. Well, yeah, but I just shot that at her because she knew that was a lie. She she was bragging about Papa Smurf doing it to her in the chair and all kind of shit. Come on with that bullshit. Like, come on now. Y'all ain't messing with no dumbass people over here. Maybe on others, I ain't shooting shots at nobody else, but we some critical thinkers over here. And it's like, I'm gonna okay, shoot, shoot, shoot some shot. Can I shoot some shot, Shayna, or should I be quiet? I respect you. So if you say be quiet, I'm gonna be quiet. Did you try to shoot some shots at somebody in the chat? At Marcus and his slow Oh, oh good. nobody in the chat with what y'all got going on, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, y'all. But fuck Marcus people, they slow because they enable him every time he do something. They say he don't never do, he not doing nothing to make every excuse in the world. For some of the shit, fucked up shit he do. Like Golden Signer said, plus she working the homeless status shelters in Section 8. Like, yeah, I thought she was really, you know, a little more <laughs> Caprice ass is so crazy. Fuck them all. <laughs> Um, Lindsay, do you want to say something? Put Marcus's um, thing up real quick for the ones that didn't see his response. Now, could this be another mother that won't let baby daddies have relationships with their baby daddies, well, their fathers, because they don't want to have a relationship with the mother? Yeah. And then uh, you're right. She didn't bring that up until after Westy. She would have been told us that. But then again, I did say she had something on Marcus. So maybe it was that the catheter was in. And I did Google it. You know, I, uh, shit, uh, red bone ain't here. But, you know, you can have intercourse with a catheter. I agree. And like Lindsay just said, um, that hold on let me back so she what's what's the child name what's Andy she does not I personally believe she is one of them baby moms that are the what's the word like the thing in between the children having a relationship with their father because there's no justifiable reason they she's not giving a justifiable reason as to why they are not really involved with their dad. I understand the youngest one, his daddy is old, but the older one, and especially the older one, he's at that age where he needs his 
father. And he sounded like he said was in a decent situation before his father, you know, got locked up or whatever the case may have been. But so you're going to take him out of a home for him to live in a homeless shelter? That's ridiculous because I'm pretty sure the father's wife was not abusing that baby. You know, I mean, that just doesn't even make sense. And then, yeah, but you don't you have it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, I definitely get it. It's, it's just, it's, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, that was her, her feelings, her mess getting in the way of her child's, you know, best interest. But when you do think about it, Marcus does happen to tent, does have happen to mess with women who don't really deal with their baby daddies. Like, just like you said, the other one, she, there's really no justifiable reason as to why her children aren't with their father either or seeing him or whatever that is. He beat you. You know what I'm saying? He beat the kids, you know? And so, um, and I don't believe he's either. I believe I they was doing either. a bunch of fighting. Mm -hmm, yeah, I believe she, because she got a mouth on her. And I mean, I, I, a man is only going to take so much. You know what I mean? And she is a picker. So she probably was all in his face and, you know, doing X, Y, Z. Like, I'm not going to say I couldn't do it. Like, I told my son, if a woman do all that, call me and I will whoop her ass. Don't you? I'll do it. That's what your mama here for. But, I mean, I can, I can see her antagonizing somebody. But I'm saying all that to say that he very much deals with people who are isolated. And when somebody's isolated, you can take advantage of them. You know, yeah. that's, you know, that's the first thing they do if they're not isolated. They isolate you because yeah. if you don't have anybody around, like, girl, what is you doing? You know, <laughs> then it's, you know, it's easy for uh, somebody like him to just take and take and take and take and take and suck you till you dry. And then you, you know, dry and alone. And lost. Also, I want to say with the whole child support thing. Now, does she not collect child support because that can be added as income? And if you're uh, trying, and if you're trying to get on certain lists and trying to use the system for a come up, that wouldn't be in the best interest, now would it? Huh. Not well, okay. because you can get caught up. Look, if uh, people can compile evidence on these Hello, people, everyone. they are so ignorant. They can compile evidence on these people and send it to the right authorities, and, and all them benefits is going to be gone because they're playing the system. Right. Okay. Hi, Gangster Granny. Um, I know it's, I, I, from my understanding, y'all are cool, right? Or we can all be on this panel together logically. Because right? I Oh, not me. You talking to me? Uh, I know that you and her ain't ha ain't something's <laughs> going on. It's okay. I respect because I respect your platform. That's it. And That's all I'm I can tell you my respect I got for you. Watch. Oh, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and step down because I gotta get my kids ready for bed. But I'm still gonna be in the chat. Okay. Well, you okay? Well, Capri, you don't have to leave. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Gangster Granny. I think Capri pushed me. Thank oh, you. I, I didn't. I was just trying to uh, really see what was going on because I came in late and I'm trying to catch up. And I just read this, uh, what you got on the screen. So, who did Marcus send this to? Okay, so we're gonna reread it again. Okay. This was under. Um, Chase's comments. I don't know if she okay because we was looking under Westies for both of the comments, okay. and so they're saying maybe she blocked him, but then unblocked him because the shit popped back up under her thing. Okay. And um, so he, Chase did a video and he left it under Chase's video and was commenting to Chase about this situation and it's just like well why haven't he went on his platform with his subscribers marcus i mean we're not gonna stop marcus mm -hmm. we're not gonna stop so go ahead and read it again lindsay for the ones just got here all right so i put up on the screen what the what he commented under this was the original post that he commented under it says this is from Chase, it says, West Indy Collection response. She said, hey, y'all, Marcus deleted his own comment. Believe him if y'all want to. Want 
I guess to for saying I'm trash. I haven't had a dude tell me that before. He definitely lying about some things in this post. Since he deleted it, there's no need for me to respond. But like I said, you responded though. But anyway, and then right. let me go back because I got all of them. So this was the comment that he posted under. It says right here, if it was in her chat, she deleted it. Ain't no way he's going to type all that shit and delete it. Right. And then this oh. was his, and then this was his comment. I got it all everybody <laughs> all right he That's said my me, <laughs> me i like receipts you know what i mean you can't defute the receipts uh -huh. so and then he commented under that comment about him saying that she deleted it he wrote we smashed after the rooftop interview she bought brought wine with her got tipsy and started getting flirty and whatnot i did too we smashed there was never any money involved or anything like that she left her folding chair in my car that was what we had to get back for get up get back up for which took me over a week to do because i wasn't that interested she chased me down every time under the guise of making content. Also, I definitely didn't delete any messages or comments I previously written. Just to be clear, I'm pretty sure she blocked me, which caused the comment to disappear. And then I think this one too. This right here is where he's saying he did not delete anything. Then why ain't he going on his page and doing this? Why is he on all the other people's? Marcus, why are you doing this on everybody else's page? I'm going to put the link in here. I know your ass is in the bushes. You don't miss shit with your name on it. I mean, why won't you go address your people on your page? Maybe because they don't care to hear it because like the other person said, uh they don't believe that Marcus should speak so maybe that's probably why he ain't addressed it on his page because they yeah. don't need to hear it you you feel me but he's going on everybody else's platforms to address it because they want to know what's going on and that's why a lot of his people's coming over here because they like, whoa, we didn't know. So when all these new people's coming in, they're like, well, we've been following them and we didn't know what happened with Sonny. And a lot of people don't even know how she, just it's just like a yeah. lot of people is waking up. OK. OK. Now, I, now I thank you, Lindsay, girl, for helping your sis out for, so I can get up the speed sugar. But yeah, now welcome. I got y'all. <laughs> I, I know you do this. I know you do, pumpkin. But okay, so now one one more thing. Now what's going on with Sonny? I heard you sis say something about uh if he go to court, Sheena. No. Uh she has some allegations out here. Um she's stating that uh basically, you know, when she did have you know, sex with Marcus on her menstrual. She had the catheter in and she told him no. And he said, I'm a grown man. And I guess he continued with the catheter and the blood. The menstrual. Girl, she full of it. Let me yeah. Tell you she full of it, y'all. Let me, I, you know, listen. I'm not going to take back what I'm finna say. Sala, you can't stop me. I'm not going <laughs> back because, listen, I may not like some of the shit Marcus do, right? But Sonny is a dang on lie. Let me tell you something. Sonny did not start this crap until the West Indies stuff came about. Now, Sonny is cuckoo for cuckoo pups. With that being said, she more than likely trying to do something to get that girl's attention well was trying to get the girl's attention before her and marcus fell out so 
who knows why Sonny's saying that? Who knows? But well, let's believe if this man was doing anything wrong to Sonny, as loud as that girl mouth is, come on, y'all. As loud as Sonny is, how boisterous she is, y'all don't think Sonny going to say something, scream out, no, nigga, get off of me, something. Well, oh, let's talk about Big Bad Sonny now. Let's hear the story of what she said he did. Okay. I don't need no receipts. Tell him, tell him go live. I'm not lying. I'm not cleaning nothing up. No, I told, first of all, I'm not even supposed to have sex with a catheter in. I asked to take the catheter out. And I also said, I'm on my period. He said, I'm a grown man. I don't know what that meant. Did he take it? Those are as serious allegations. She said no means no. Yes, it's my body. Of course it's my body. I just told y'all. So how am I supposed to uh, push somebody off me if I'm paralyzed from the waist down? If I got one hand... How much fighting do you think I could do? What else was I supposed to do? Scream? Blow! I could be dead. A dead bitch. With all them people in your house, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Look at the face expressions with that bullshit. Lies. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't stand Marcus, but damn. I and when when I told y'all I have sons, I didn't mean it like, huh? I said I told y'all that girl ain't keeping it one hundred. Well, okay, because at the beginning I was like, y'all, I got sons, and plus I got a daughter. And the reason why I say this is because the ones that do have sons and ho hopefully we're training them well, but shit, all they got to do is get with somebody that they think is nice and look at this bullshit right here, like. Mm -hmm. That's some serious allegations. Yeah. I got sons and daughters too. Trust me. I, I, I know. That's bullshit. You can't do that to people. Because I want to tell y'all, out of all it is that we've been talking about, nobody, I have waited and waited on somebody to say it and nobody has said it. So I'm going to say it. When they were in St. Croix, and they were sitting out on that beach thing where they drove the cars. Sonny, Marcus said that Sonny likes it to get took. And she didn't disagree with that. Now, y'all go back and look at that video. Uh, oh, yeah. She said they freaky. Both of them freaky and like it aggressive and shit. Uh -huh. She, yeah. Yep. Yep. But then. Like, come on. He said it. She looked at Marcus like, mm, yeah, daddy. Yeah, Papa Smurf, come and get it. You know what I mean? Oh, like, oh, yeah. Papa Smurf could do me in my chair and my back yeah. hurt because he did yeah. me so good. But then somebody oh, I said this. I don't so believe listen. Her. Somebody told me this. Well, maybe she was a victim and was scared and started still screwing them. Come on, y'all now. Y'all are making this shit bad for real life women that have yeah. been hard, exactly. are traumatized. Like this that shit is bad. out of control. It's out of control because there's mm -hmm. real life victims out here that has been right. touched on, and they right. are scared to say right. they've been touched on. And if right. they come out and say they've been touched on, people ain't believing it because of shit like this. Yep. And by the way, I'm a victim. When I was Sorry. young, 
my cousin molested me. And I was scared to tell anyone that that had happened to me. You know what I mean? So it didn't come out actually until after my father passed away. I spared this man up until my dad passed away, y'all, because I did not want to see my daddy do something that could jeopardize him to get himself locked up because my dad had never, ever been to jail. So I didn't even want to tell him. But when he passed away, I was finally able to release that. So when I tell you I smell bullshit, I smell bullshit. Like, I'm not just trying to take off a dude. I just don't believe it. Sonny too, she too raw, too uncut, too ratchet to allow somebody to do that to her and her not say something as a grown person. Now, if she was a kid, that's different. But as a grown person, and we know her as a grown woman, come on now. Come on now. Think about right. it, everybody. Think about it. Now well, she like it. She like it rough, she said. You you can't keep going back and forth and changing shit up and you on social media because right. everything is recorded. I could go yep. back. Where Papa Smurf yep. was Papa Smurf. But uh, Capri says she want to say something. Go ahead, Capri. Yes, madam. So as far as them liking to have kinky sex and stuff, I'm already with the how it's not no surprise really that we knew Marcus had a, a freaky side to him. He right. fetishizes a lot of the people that he interviewed, y'all. He do. And he definitely has this uh savior kind of thing to him, right? He like to fetishize people and then to put him on a pedestal like he got. It's a narcissistic thing. I don't understand it, but yeah, that motherfucker crazy. He is. She is too, but he 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 got his own kinks going on about him. Yeah, well, he ain't the only one with fetishes. It's just that he's bringing this shit out on public po social media and portraying like he's helping the homeless and you're not are the vulnerable mental health people. I think that's why we're so concerned about what he's doing because he's feeding off people with issues let's say that people you're going to shelters you're finding them at the shelters you're finding them at the parks yes they're reaching out to you too but you can't control yourself as a man marcus and say hey this is business i'm gonna keep this as business and i'm gonna get pleasure somewhere else why do the people that you interview got to be the people that you're sleeping with i mean like this ain't making no slant I'm just going to keep breaking down series on this shit. I, I am because there's an 18 year old girl now that might be, you know, going through some shit with this dude. It is? I yeah. I'm gone. <laughs> See, people, you said, what girl? She just interviewed an 18 year old girl and telling her her family don't want her and. Like he was sort of doing a Josiah thing. So it's like a girl no, version of not. Josiah. Tell that woman her family don't want her. She's I on the video. Know. She's on his. Oh, she did, He just did a video of that young girl. What? Almost coochie is way less than a woman on the track. You ain't, you ain't never lied about that, baby. Jason said it the other day. He, he want to cheat. He don't want to pay for it. He wanted to be the ten dollar man, but I don't believe he got it for free with her. Well, it all come out. All this shit is a hot ass mess, ain't it, y'all? It is. It's fun. I mean, it's not funny, y'all. I'm not laughing at this. I'm just laughing at something else. But yeah, this is a mess. Lindsay, you got something to say? This shit is a hot ass mess. <laughs> it is, and. I don't know. I was going to show a video, but to her rebuttal of what could I do against him? If I would have said something, I would have been dead. You want to play that? What video is that of who? You'll see. Okay. This is, this is a video that's going to prove that lie, that statement to be a lie. Because one, you telling everybody you sleeping in this wheelchair with them, why couldn't you just press forward and run his little ass over? Hello. Right. Say it again. Go. 
Go ahead, girl. Ooh, I just love my y'all. I just love y'all because I can't be the only one thinking this way. Like, this shit ain't had up. I don't like the man, but fuck y'all. Come on now. And some people might run with it and be like, yeah, he da 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 da. Come on, y'all. They still willing participants. That girl was with it for real. Sunny was. Sunny is unbelievable. You can't come out here and cry wolf. I mean, even if something, even if something did happen, ain't nobody gonna believe that. And there might be a few people believe it, but. Come on now. Thank you, Ebony. Shana, I just wanted to give you your roses for waking me up. Thank you, Ebony, for your super chat. I appreciate it. I really do, you guys. I really do. It helps. And I'm glad you woke up. I wasn't trying to sway you not to be over there. I'm just trying to let everybody see the truth with this bullshit. Like, it's just some bullshit. So I'm trying to pull up what Lindsay wants to show. Thank you, Lindsay, for always helping me. I appreciate you. Y'all know I'm still in Denver. I was at work today. Like, I'm multitasking. <laughs> Every time I come here, I get shit done, and then I go home and hibernate. <laughs> or hibernate. Hi, hey, see? See? And that ain't intentionally. My shit's coming out wrong. Why they come in here talking shit? Get out of here, Tro. Okay, why can't I get that scream on here? Oh, there it go. Okay, there it go. Okay, there it go. Y'all, I'm learning as we go and how to do this stuff, too. So, I'm having fun a little bit practicing. Go for it. Oh. Did it? Yes, you no, too. I did it. I cannot did it. have the CCTV from the camera more where I got put out. You stupid bitch. Yeah, because you know to walk away. You know to fucking walk away. Fuck you. 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 Yeah, you know to run in that fucking room. If you want to hit me, go ahead. Bitch. Yeah, what's up? You hit me. What's up? You hit me. What's up? I can call. Go ahead. Yeah, I can. Go ahead. Bitch. Yeah. Fuck, because you keep coming in my fucking face, bitch. I'm not playing with you. I wasn't even in your Yeah, call the police, you scary asshole. Call the police. Call the man. <laughs> fuck, keep playing with me, bitch. The fuck out my face. Thank you, Nene. Who got it? Bless me, who got it? Get the fuck out my face. You. She sure enough can fight. So she couldn't get Marcus off of her? Sonny, you couldn't get Marcus off of you? Just, just curious. If you in here, you most, you can sure enough hit the link. Because we want to understand how you couldn't get Marcus off of you. And um, you slapped the shit. Well, you know, you tried to slap the shit out your sister. I don't believe you did much. I be really believe. Somebody said, play it again. <laughs> Girl, Kari dance is a Right, yo. I was going to say Kari dance, bro. <laughs> Kari, give me more. She was dancing her car, y'all. Kari wasn't for that shit. Kari was laughing at that shit. Yeah. Kari said, come on now. You swinging at me? As right. to say. With you no know. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. And bragged about punching her. Like, I just like, like the shit. Really That's <laughs> what I'm saying. She With one hand, hand no, that take a lot to punch somebody. And her sister is not no little... Uh, she kind of up there, so yeah. No, she is a big girl. Tell the truth, she's a big girl. <laughs> you know, I, mean, she, I she think she just—I can't call her fat, or she, she's smaller than me. Yeah. I was that is she, she that one that one hand is strong as a fuck for real, <laughs> right? For so real. you laying next to somebody, or this motherfucker's on top of you. If you can swing like that, you can swing on him too. Say it again, Lizzie. Play it again, <laughs> damn it. That's what I'm talking about. So that's why I said what I said. Octavius is laughing. Play it again. I mean, on some real life shit, you couldn't get Marcus off of you. Come on, y'all. You better have a brain dealing with these crazy motherfuckers. I know we all got some issues, but don't be dumb to this shit. <laughs> Wait, let me see. 
Right, and Dang. you got one hand. You could reach down and grab them balls and pull. Or somebody said she could have slid that. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Wait, we can't make We did that shit. First of all, her big ass brother and her daddy and her sister is there. Do you really think they wouldn't have heard her scream? Exactly. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Show that shit, Lizzie. My people gonna no, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, no, I didn't. I did not. I didn't. I got fast. Put out. You stupid bitch. Yeah. Cause you know to walk away. You know to fucking walk away. Fuck you. 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 Fuck you
Go ahead. <laughs> you don't get me in trouble. All right, to this. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, you know to run in that fucking room. Fuck you. Yeah, you fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, you know to run in that. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. Yeah, you know, do the fuck dance. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you know the right now. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, you fuck you, 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 fuck Oh, that shit was funny, bro. Why they don't like us classy roses? Everybody push mute real quick. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. Shout out to Dollar. Dollar, Dollar. Let's go. Turn that bitch up. Everybody mute. Girls who die. Y'all all invited. Tonight y'all gon' get excited. Information is enlightening. I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like it. Classy roses, please come inside. Girls and guys, y'all all invited. Tonight y'all gonna get excited. The information is enlightening. I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like it. Oh, my classy roses. Oh, my classy roses. Sheena, thank you for this opportunity. It's your boy Solid Dollar signing off. You more than welcome, King. Over here is all about mental health and breaking generational curses. Tell him, Shanna. Classy roses, please come inside. Girls and guys, y'all all invited. Tonight y'all gon' get excited. The information is enlightening. I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like it. Classy roses, please come inside. Girls and guys, y'all all invited. Tonight y'all gonna get excited. The information is enlightening. I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like it. Classy roses. I love it. Two dollar, I love it. Shout out to Dollar. Subscribe to his channel. Oh my classy roses. Your boy Solid Dollar. Signing off. Classy roses. It's all about mental health and breaking generational curses. Tell him, Shanna. Classy roses. Classy oh, roses, my beautiful classy roses. You know I love you, classy roses. <laughs> is there anything y'all want to say? Your girl oh, yeah, is finna go to bed. I love y'all. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to come up here. Um, yeah, and and and, and enjoy your rest. We'll be back later. Yeah, because I'm I'm going to work tomorrow, so um, I'll let y'all know if I'm going to go live. I don't know if I'm going to be live, but I had to come live today. And uh, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead, um, 
before I say anything, go ahead, um, Gangsta Granny, uh, Capri, no, you don't want to shoot your channel out. Gangsta Granny, is there something you want to say? I'm finna get ready to go live, people, so come over to the hood with your girl. I got something I want to talk about. All righty. The show, though, you know, we don't yeah. talk behind the scenes, but your show was good tonight. Sorry I was an hour late. <laughs> And I'm sorry I won't be able to make it because I am going to sleep. You I said I am not going to do four yeah. hours on this damn thing today. So, Lindsay, is there anything you want to say, honey bunny? <laughs> we have fun tonight, regardless. Either way, we have fun. Y'all have a good night. And remember to protect your energy on these YouTube streets. Because this shit is wild. <laughs> We love you guys. I will talk to y'all soon. Thank you all for subscribing. Hopefully you enjoy our content. We talk about multiple things. You guys are going to like it over here. Let's get our roses up in the chat before we can get up out of here. Classy roses. Classy roses. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> mm -hmm.